15,000 sexual assault victims are still waiting for the state to test their rape kits. The attorney general is begging state lawmakers for funding, but while he waits, a new federal grant will pay to test 10% of those kits. This is a story that CBS 17 has been digging deeper into for months. Attorney General Josh Stein showed CBS 17's Robert Richardson the new technology at the state crime lab. The new sexual assault kit tracking system uses basic barcodes. We will know exactly where in the process every sexual assault kit is on a going forward basis. Even victims can find out where their kit is. The numbers are also accessible to law enforcement, attorneys, and court officials to see where a kit is and if it's been tested. It's one of three things Stein asked the state for. The second was a committee to come up with protocol on how to prioritize testing, which was approved, but the third was $2 million for testing. The legislature said no. That would have handled nearly 20% of the backlogged kits. We need the legislature to fund the outsourcing of the remainder. But in just the past few days, the Department of Justice approved $2 million in funding, half of which the state crime lab can use for testing. That's about 1,400 kits. Each submission represents a victim who suffered a most grievous trauma. With recent national attention on victims not immediately reporting sexual assault, I asked Stein about this changing that. You're hoping that this is a step to encourage more victims to have trust in the system and come forward. That's absolutely correct. Experiencing sexual assault has got to be one of the most traumatic things a human being can go through. And what they need to know is that law enforcement has their back. We will do everything in our power to secure justice for them, to punish the offender, and keep everybody safe. The 15,000 untested kits aren't here at the state crime lab. They're at law enforcement agencies across the state. And Stein says that many of them are older. He told me his staff moved some money around this summer to be able to process 500 87 of them, but they're still in search of more funding. In Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.